Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to factorise some more quadratic trinomials, uh, except this time we're going to do ones that have a coefficient in front of your x squared. So for these questions you're going to have to use uh, the deconstruction method, which I have another video for. If you don't know how to do that, I suggest watching that video first. Um, but once you're okay with that, you'll be able to do these no problem. Now there's a couple of steps that I used when doing these sorts of questions. The first thing I do is I always check to see if this number can be factorised out. Um, and by saying that, I mean if every one of our terms can be divided by this number, it'll get rid of it and it'll make it a little bit easier. Now, if you can't do that, what you need to do is you need to find two numbers, and your two numbers this time need to multiply to get a times c. So my number here, multiply by that, that's what my first number has to equal. And those numbers have to also add to get my b value in the middle, just like last time. Then what you're going to have to do is use your deconstruction method where you need to split the middle term into the two numbers that I choose. Then you'll need to do some factorising by grouping. So I'll do a couple of examples. We'll just do some easy ones in this video. So the first one, first thing we do is check to see if I can factorise out this front number. Now my terms can't all be divided by 3, so I can't get rid of it. So what I need to do is to try and find a number that multiplies to get my first number multiplied by my last, so it has to multiply to get 9, and it has to add to get 10. So this one's an easy one, the two numbers you're going to use is positive 9 and positive 1. So I'm going to split this 10x term into 9x and 1x. So I end up getting 3x squared plus 9x plus x plus 3. Now I'll do my factorising by grouping, so I'm going to group these two and these two. I can take 3x out of the first two, which will leave me with x plus 3. And the only thing that I can factorise out of x and 3 is just the number 1. So I'm going to factorise out plus 1, which is just going to leave me with x plus 3 because I haven't taken anything out. Then I factorise my brackets. So I'll take out x plus 3, which will leave me, leave me with 3x plus 1. And then you're done. I'll do another example. Now for this one, we've got some negative numbers, but first thing I want to do is check and see if I can factorise out this 2. Now I can't divide all of my numbers by 2, so I'm going to have to do the deconstruction method. So I need to find some numbers that multiply to get 2 times negative 5, so multiply to get negative 10, and they have to add to get this middle number, which is negative 9. So my two numbers that I can use are negative 10 and positive 1. Negative 10 plus 1 is negative 9, negative 10 times 1 is negative 10. So I'm going to split that middle term, my negative 9x, into negative 10x and 1x. So that equals 2x squared minus 10x plus 1x minus 5. And then again, I do the factorising by grouping. So I'm going to group these two, and I'm going to group these two. I can take 2x out of these first two, which will leave me with x minus 5. This back one, the only thing I can take out of both is a 1, so I'll factorise out positive 1, which leaves me with x minus 5, and then you just factorise out the brackets. So it's x minus 5, and we get 2x plus 1. And we're done. So I'll just do one more example in this video. And this one is one where you need to check that you can factorise it to make it a little bit easier. So you can see that each of my terms here, I can factorise the number 5 out of each. So if I do that, it's going to be 5, and that'll leave me with 4x squared minus 5x plus 1. And then what I'm going to do is, to fully factorise it, is I need to try and factorise this trinomial here. So I'm going to be carrying this multiply by 5 the whole way down, and I'm, at the moment I'm just going to factorise this. So I write my 5. What I need to do is find a number, or two numbers, that multiply to get me 4 times 1. So multiply to get 4, and add 
to get negative 5. So my two numbers are going to be negative 4 and negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. Negative 4 plus negative 1 is negative 5. So I'll split this middle term. So 4x squared minus 4x minus x plus 1. I'm going to factorise by grouping, do my front two and the back two. Uh, it's going to leave me with, still got that 5 out the front. I'm going to take out 4x, which will leave me with x minus 1. And because this one is a negative in front, I'm going to factorise out negative 1, which you should always do. And that's going to leave me with uh, x minus 1. So I've got negative x divided by negative 1 is positive x. 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. Then I can factorise my brackets again. So it's going to be 5 in brackets got x minus 1 and I write everything that's left over in my second bracket and we're done. So I'll make another video with some more complicated ones as well um, but please subscribe thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.